Well, this is a personal lot for our police vehicles now open to the public, please. So if you want to use the sidewalk, you can take as many videos what as you want for the sidewalk right can there. You, can, you, can you show me where it says that it's for police? It's police, yeah. Rome police officers in this quarter, police deputy chief. This is marked for our police vehicles only, please, okay? Yeah, but it's, open to, it's open to the public. We, you know what's funny? I've been to a lot of police parking lots, and they tell me the same thing. I couldn't vandalized. believe somebody would be so stupid as to vandalize a police cars in a parking lot of the police station. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we're at the Daniel Wilson Center for Justice and Rome Police Department here in the city of Rome, New York. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. So let's get into it. Rome Police, the Copper City. I don't see any restricted area signs anywhere. Again, our goal is to never break the law. That includes trespassing in restricted areas. Hi, how are you? Huh? Hi, how are you? I'm good. Did you need something? Um, can I just get your name and badge number? Officer Carlotta, 11408. Do you need something? Uh, no, are I don't need anything. Are you looking for the door or anything? Or do you need to get inside or something? Oh, I, no, I don't need anything. Oh, all right. Well, this is a personal lot for our police vehicles now open to the public, please. So if you want to use the sidewalk, you can take as many videos did, as you want from the sidewalk you, right can there. You, can you show me where it says that it's for police? It's police yeah. Rome police officers in this quarter, police deputy chief. This is marked for our police vehicles only, please, okay? Yeah, but it's, open to, it's open to the public. We try not to let anybody walk through and go into the vehicles, okay? Yeah, uh, I'm just checking on the taxpayer-funded vehicles. That's all I'm doing, you can Officer Carletta. Really do that all the way around the sidewalk if you want I, to. I could freely do it here. This is open to the public, ma'am. Respectfully. Any, yeah. Is there anything you have questions about that you need help with? No, I'm just checking out the vehicles. That's all. I'm just checking any out the vehicles. Any questions about the vehicles? No, no, no. I'm just checking them out. Just, okay. That's it. Nothing. All right. Nothing sinister going on here. And what's your name? My first name's Sean. Hi, Sean. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Officer Carletta. Thanks. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. So let's see if we could. Oh, Officer Carletta was pretty nice. She's just hanging out over there watching me, I guess, now. She was pretty nice. Let's see if we could find out which ones are undercover vehicles or unmarked. You see the lights right there in the grill and the light up there. I guess Officer Carletta is going to be babysitting us. She apparently has nothing better to do. See lights. This one doesn't have any lights to it. Slow night tonight, Officer Carletta. Not always. Not always, but today, yeah, right? No. Why do you think it's slow? Because you're just standing there. Well, unfortunately, we've got a lot of people trying to vandalize in our cars. People, people would vandal. You know what's funny? I've been to a lot of police parking lots, and they tell me the same thing. Cars been vandalized. Our building. I couldn't vandalized. believe somebody would be so stupid as to vandalize a police cars in a parking lot of the police station. They vandalized the building. I mean, I don't see how people could be so dumb, but. People do crazy things. I mean, I, I, I believe it. People do crazy things. I, I, I definitely believe that. Are you I from just, Rome? I'm not from the area, no. I'm just I'm just checking out the the city here on business, that's all. But yeah. I, I just I find it hard to believe that every single police department I go to that they would all Where else have you been? Uh, all over the country. All over the country, yeah. I just take a look at the vehicles, see the different kinds, make sure the tread's good. If they're bad, you know, report it to somebody. We got pretty good maintenance department that stays very very on top yeah, of some of them you know i'll see some that are you know and that's a liability not only for the officer's safety but to the city you oh, know because no, you get you get into an accident it's not coming out of your pocket so you hurt somebody so i like to make sure everything's all right there uh, well you know what? i appreciate at least somebody you know cares that much about 
and understands that you know like we're in our vehicles 24 7. You yeah know what i mean and it's not just a car it's it's, it's our office yeah for sure so it, you know appreciate i mean somebody thinks more of them than just normal cars yeah for sure i mean the, you guys basically live in those things we do. so <laughs> i get very upset with the guys i ride in the car with they eat and they make a mess you know we yeah keep clean. You live oh so you guys thing. share vehicles here we do we do oh, so okay each shift you have a person you share your car with oh okay gotcha 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 yeah so, I could imagine probably some of them are. We don't have we don't have enough cars to, sh to everyone have their own. That's, 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 <laughs> that's way too much money. Yeah, well, you know, I've I've seen where they have take home cars where they actually take them home. Yeah, and, a lot of counties do that. Yeah, especially when they have a bigger jurisdiction to cover. Yeah, but our inner city jurisdiction is much smaller than the city of Rome itself. The city of Rome is very large. Okay, we just cover the inner district. Okay, so, and who co covers the outer district? County and sheriffs. County, I'm sorry, county and state. County and state, uh, the outer. You guys are just like basically like the inner city. Yes. Okay. So Interesting. County and state covers everything past our jurisdiction. They come in and assist if we need them, which is not not too often. But for larger scale things, we might need assistance of more people. But yeah, I mean, it looks like a pretty decent sized police department you have here, though. I've seen ones with, I've seen police departments with like six, seven. Oh yeah, no, you know, thirteen officers. Oh yeah, they get that small. They definitely <laughs> do. They definitely do. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Hi. Why is it called the Copper City? So the Rome, the city of Rome used to have a gigantic copper mill. Okay. Um, used to, if we were one of the main steel mills and copper mills, metal mills, everything for the whole county. Unfortunately, all those mills are kind of basically closed down, but mm. Revere is still open, and it's okay. a copper mill. A copper mill. So, I Is that basically like where a lot of people work in this town? We do have a lot city? of people. It does employ a lot of people. I guess this is before my generation. Yeah. Right? So I can't, don't, don't quote me on too much of the history. Don't post this and be like, oh my gosh, doesn't She had no idea city. what she was talking she about. She not what you're talking about, I'm sure. In the comments, you're going to come at me, like, get on Google. You're wrong. History, right, I'm sure. Listen. Be, right. Everybody be nice. Be nice to uh, I'm sure Officer there's going to be somebody who's going to correct me on the history of this. <laughs> but we are the cops today because of Revere Copper Mill which yeah. is in East Rome, which is still open, but it's basically the only mill that we have that's one of the original mills. Um, but I guess just within the last three years, we turned the logo of Copper City when Mayor Izzo came over and took over, so over three years. I think she's been here now six, oh, wow. seven years maybe. And then you outfitted the cars with the Copper we City on them. She started slogan the Copper City. It's on the businesses now. It's on... I mean, she. she it's kind of like it's kind of. She made a Logan. Yeah, slogan yeah, it's Logan. Logan yeah, 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 yeah. They put it on the police cars. And, and I guess it's you know it's it's funny it's like a play on words with the police cars right because it's like for the police department because you know it's like the copper city and the copper city. I don't think anyone realized that until they actually did the cars though. Oh, okay. Like, when you said it out loud, I don't think it was something people put thought in about mind. because everybody, well, me not being from here, yeah, like I wouldn't know. So when I first saw it, I was like the copper city. I'm like. Oh, I figured it had to do with copper. With a, it's a police farm with a sense of humor. I figured <laughs> I, fi I figured it had to do with copper, but I was like, oh, the copper city. Like, <laughs> yeah, no. Like it's, uh, well, you guys really think, think a lot about yourself, huh? I, I got to be careful around here. Cities, no. <laughs> I got to be careful. I don't think we realized it until we put it on the cars. And, and then somebody like, was like, wait a minute. That one guy was like, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we're like, well, we already did 20 of them, so it's too late. We ordered all of them to get stickered this way, so I guess we're going to go with it. Gotcha. But, yeah. I mean, it goes well with the city's slogans and, I guess, theme that they're going through. Yeah, sure. So they have the Copper City Brewery, uh, Copper City Chiropractic, Copper City... Uh, That's cool. And see, I like, coming, I like coming to different cities like this and mm -hmm. seeing, you know, go getting some local local food and, you know... Well, what food are you looking for? I, I don't... What's good around here? Well, it depends on what you want. <laughs> I don't know. I like... People always tell me all the time because, you know, I... You know, like I told you, I go around the country, but um, they always say, oh, you know, you don't pay taxes in my city. But, I mean, I do. I stay at a hotel. You know, I get gas. Where are you staying? I, buy, I didn't get my hotel yet. Okay. But it's usually, you know, probably Holiday Inn Express if there's one around here. We have uh, a La Quinta or we have a normal Hampton. Okay. Which isn't, I mean, it's literally two minutes down the road. Oh, okay, cool. So. Yeah, so, you know, I try and contribute. I'm not just trying to be... You know, I try to contribute to the to places I go. We got a lot of mom and pop <laughs> restaurants. Yeah, so see, 
I mean, I do, I do recommend them. We do get good food here. Yeah, it's it's, it's very local. I love that. I love going here, into though, the city. I don't know if it'll be like it's not everyone's taste. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, yeah. It's very okay. Italian. Yeah. Rome. <laughs> it's very Italian. It's it's not everybody appreciates it, but it's a very very local. When in Rome. Test, yes. Taste so. That should have that should have been the slogan. When in Rome. When in Rome. I feel like it. Everybody uses it, so she wanted to go a different route. Okay, but, I mean, that would have been a good one though. When I in wasn't Rome. in the mayor's office when she came up with the song, oh, okay. so I can't, I can't give any credit. I'll have to, I'll have to talk to the mayor about that. Yeah. She needs uh, Carletta in there when yeah, she's no, making decisions. No, please don't. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't need to be in there at all. Oh, God. Oh, man. It was nice meeting you, Sean. It was nice meeting you, Officer Carletta. Thank you. You stay safe, okay? Thank you. Too. Throw in a restaurant name. Just throw one out there. American or two. pie is really good. American really good pie. Pasta. They're really good. They're great pizza. Uh, American pie. Chinese there you go. Is great. You know what's They're so funny? I, I, you know, I'm, I'm from New York, but obviously not from here. I'm from Long Island. Just so you know. Well, I'm from Long Island, and uh, I was in Maryland at my brother's house, and I, and I asked, I, I called the pizza place, and I was like, hey, can I just get a large pie? And, and the girl there was like, sir. We're a pizza place. We don't sell pie what here. Do call, what do you call the sauce? <laughs> you call it sauce so, or gravy? I, I call it sauce. Sauce. See, and now there, I've heard people call it gravy. Gravy? Yes. No, it's sauce. Thank you. I agree. But <laughs> Why do we call it gravy? Non-New Yorkers call it gravy. Wow. wow. Ask, ask around, yeah. Yeah? People call okay. It, well, who calls call it? it all right. In the comment section, let me know who calls pizza sauce. sauce. Sauce or, like or gravy? Sauce on spaghetti. They'll call it the gravy. They'll call it gravy. Were well, you kidding? I'm not kidding. I swear to you. I swear to you. I thought that was the funniest thing because it blew my mind. I'm like, hey, can I just get a large cheese pie? And and then they're like, sir, we don't sell pies here. And I'm like, this is a pizza cheese. place. <laughs> I'm like, this is a pizza place. What do you mean you don't sell pies? No. I'm like, that's what we call it. Like, if you call American pie, they will know that you mean a pizza. Yeah. If I say, hey, can I get a large pie? They're gonna know, right? Exactly. Yeah. And it will be large. Even it's, all their food. Their sandwiches are really good. Yeah. You want a good sandwich, try crust. That's a new place. Okay. Great section up in up on the base. Okay. Um there's a lot of stuff up there to check out. I mean most of the base is open to the public now. Before it wasn't. Oh so, cool, cool. What crust base? Is, what base is it? Um Griffiths Air Force Base. Oh okay, okay, okay. So check out crust, great sandwiches. Can't recommend them enough. Okay. Delicious. I think go for I recommend the Godfather. The Godfather. <laughs> That's my recommendation. All right, Carla. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. you. Have a good one. You too. Well, Officer Carletta is a sweetheart. You know, we started off pretty rough. Officer Car Officer Carletta and I started off on the on the wrong foot, where she's telling him trying to kick me out of a public parking lot. And look, de escalation little friendliness we had a great conversation and she represented her city well she definitely did officer Carlotta needs a promotion she represented her city well like I said didn't start off too well but it ended well all's well that ends well right guys so got a little bit of history on the city of Rome here in New York let me guys let me know what you guys think about Officer Carletta. Let me know what you guys think about calling pizza sauce gravy. <laughs> and let me know what you think about the video in the comment sections below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.